Question. Analyze Conrad's use of symbols narrative techniques in Heart of Darkness. Joseph Conrad's novel Heart of Darkness is rich in its use of symbols and narrative techniques, which contribute to its exploration of the themes of imperialism, the darkness within human nature, and the ambiguity of truth. Here are some key points regarding Conrad's use of symbols and narrative techniques in the novel. 1. The Congo River The Congo River serves as a multifaceted symbol throughout the novel. Initially, it represents the physical journey into the heart of Africa, where European colonial powers have exerted their dominance. As Marlowe progresses up the river, the river itself becomes increasingly ominous, mirroring the moral decay and darkness that he encounters. It becomes a metaphorical representation of the journey into the depths of the human psyche and the dark side of civilization. 2. The Darkness Darkness is a pervasive symbol in the novel, representing the moral and psychological corruption that exists within humanity. It embodies the brutality and cruelty of European imperialism in Africa, revealing the horrors that individuals are capable of when removed from the constraints of civilization. The darkness is both external, manifesting in the dense African jungle, and internal, residing within the hearts and minds of the characters. 3. Kurtz's Painting Kurtz's painting, prominently displayed in his inner station, is a powerful symbol that encapsulates the hypocrisy of European imperialism. The blindfolded woman in the painting represents the Europeans' willful ignorance and lack of insight into the consequences of their actions. The torch she holds symbolizes the destructive power of their so-called enlightenment, which only serves to further exploit and oppress the African people. 4. The African Natives The African natives in Heart of Darkness symbolize the other embodying the exotic and primitive stereotype perpetuated by European colonizers. Conrad challenges these stereotypes and delves into the dehumanizing effects of imperialism on both the colonizers and the colonized. Through Marlowe's observations and encounters with the natives, the novel exposes the inherent humanity and complexity of these individuals who have been marginalized and oppressed. 5. Framed Narrative Structure Conrad employs a framed narrative structure in which the main story is recounted as a flashback within another narrative. The framed story presents Marlowe aboard a ship on the Thames, reflecting on his journey to Africa. This technique adds layers of complexity to the storytelling and creates a sense of distance and uncertainty. It also mirrors the fragmented nature of truth and memory as Marlowe's recollections and interpretations shape the narrative. 6. Ambiguity and Symbolic Language Conrad's use of ambiguous and symbolic language throughout the novel contributes to its rich and open-ended interpretation. Descriptions of the landscape, the characters, and the events are often suggestive and elusive, allowing for multiple meanings and emphasizing the elusive nature of truth. The narrative leaves room for readers to engage in their own interpretations and invites exploration of the novel's deeper themes. 7. Use of Light and Shadow Light and shadow are recurring motifs in Heart of Darkness, representing the dichotomy between enlightenment and darkness, civilization and savagery. Conrad contrasts moments of light, such as the flickering candle in the outer station, with pervasive shadows that symbolize the moral ambiguity and blurred boundaries between good and evil. This interplay between light and shadow underscores the complexity of the human condition and the moral struggles within individuals. 8. The Congo as the heart of darkness The Congo itself can be seen as the embodiment of the heart of darkness. It is a place where humanity confronts its most primal and savage instincts, a microcosm of the destructive consequences of unchecked power and imperialism. The Congo represents the moral decay that occurs when individuals are driven by greed, exploitation, and the pursuit of power, and it serves as a stark critique of the European colonial enterprise. In summary, Conrad's use of symbols and narrative techniques in Heart of Darkness adds layers of meaning, complexity, and ambiguity to the novel. 
Through the powerful symbolism of the Congo River, darkness, Kurtz's painting, the African natives, and motifs of light and shadow, Conrad explores the themes of imperialism, the darkness within human nature, and the ambiguous nature of truth. The novel's rich symbolism and narrative techniques continue to engage readers and provoke contemplation on these profound themes.